Okay, uh, we're doing this video. We've had a number of requests to just specifically get into the label designer uh, for AccuWare's label connector for QuickBooks. Um, so here's the main screen where you can do a lot of searching for different orders, but the label designer is accessible behind this link. Okay, so here's the environment where you can lay out your label uh, for use uh, for printing, uh, for label printing. So first I'm going to open up an existing template here. Uh, you can see we got quite a few here, but I'm just kind of firstly just show you an example of one that's already created and what you'd be building towards here. So um, in the header you see that this template uh, has a name, it's got the transaction type, and that's important. If you're going to use sales orders, invoices, purchase orders, or the item list, when you create first create it, and we'll cover this next, but you got to pick the transaction type, you put the dimensions into the label, and then as you're creating fields, we add them in a small reference table here for you to see on the left. Here you can edit or delete any of the fields um, as, as you've added them or if you want to tweak the position for example that happens quite commonly uh, and here we sh we do try to show you the name of the field uh, the field type here we have an image field um, and there's also a barcode field on here as well uh, and then you get the X and Y dimensions which are the coordinates of where that field is relative to this lower left corner here the origin point so whenever you're adding a field um, the X dimension is how far from this left side and the Y dimension is how uh, far up from this lower corner uh, that you've got the field located at. So let's go ahead and um, so we'll just start fresh here. We'll, we'll create a, a brand new label. So let's close this one. Uh, start a new template. Uh, we're just going to call this like sales order demo 5. And again, well, you can choose any of these transaction types. These are the these are the places in QuickBooks where the data is going to be coming from. So you can use the item list, an invoice, a sales order, or a purchase order. In this case, we'll choose the sales order. And just to be similar, a real common label size is a four by three. So um, so you're going to need your you know you need to know your label dimensions that you're going to use with your label printer. So again, we've given it a name. A transaction type which is very important because the template will only appear under that search for sales orders so we're gonna go ahead and save that uh, so let's uh, I guess start with maybe an image we'll add an image to the label kind of like a, a like a logo so we're gonna browse to the computer uh, we'll get this off the desktop I just happen to know I've got a logo waiting out here so we'll go ahead and pull that in and um, by default, you know, a lot of times the image is going to be too large. So you got to like, if you decrease the the width in pixels, will automatically maintain, you know, that the other aspect of it for you. And uh, by default, we leave the aspect ratio checked so that the image doesn't get distorted. But you can force it into a square shape, for example, if you want to. But let's just call this like Nike image as uh, the field name. And let's put this, we may, may have to tweak this, but we'll just put this like a quarter of an inch out from uh, the left side here. And I don't know, just to be safe, we'll put this at like uh, two inches up. We'll save that. So that brings that in nicely in the upper left hand corner. Uh, and you see it's added it here to the field list. So again, at the beginning, the first things we were asked for are really the most important. That is the name of the template. Um, what transaction type in QuickBooks you want to use it with and you have to think about that in advance um, and then the dimensions of the label and then we can add fields so uh, next let's go ahead and just add a text field and you know people always say well what is the name for well that's just to help keep organized like let's say this is going to be item data from QuickBooks so let's call this item as the name of the field and again that's just giving it a name uh, now this is very important here where is this data going to be sourced from in QuickBooks? So uh, we want to use the item number in QuickBooks as the source. So this data source dropdown is extremely important. This is what ties it to QuickBooks. Okay, If you do want to add a field that's not going to be drawn from the accounting software, then you can just simply use uh, a, a stat, make it a static field um, from the list here. Let's see, static is also on here. 
right there at the top, sorry, right in front of me. So um, if you want the, the text to be like a title, for example, next to the item, maybe you want to have the fixed text item colon there or part number colon, then you would just choose static. But here we're going to make this dynamically filled uh, from QuickBooks. So here in the test data now, this is what's going to actually appear on the label design just as placeholder data. So you want to use something relevant. For example, if you know that your items in QuickBooks are 10 digits long, then let's put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 digits just as test, test data. Word wrap is if we were going to be pulling in usually the description. This is how many characters will go out to the right from the origin point before we wrap down onto the next line. But here we're not going to need that um, because we're just doing the item information. And again, here we'll do like a quarter of an inch from the left hand side. And we know that logo bottom left corner is at two inches. So let's just go to like 1.5 for this. And we'll do like a 16 font. So again, that's where that will dynamically be replaced uh, with the data from QuickBooks. Um, and, and if you ever like are adding fields, which are, you're definitely going to need to do this, you know, if you have to tweak the position of that, if we said, okay, let's, you know, move this down a little bit, it's up too high or something like that, you just edit that and you move it down a little bit. Um, so we've done um, the image type field the text type field, and you see we're building out our table. It shows our X and Y coordinates, the field type, the, the name. So let's go ahead and add a barcode here. Um, so we'll call this like maybe barcode one. And maybe we want that data to come in from QuickBooks. I don't know, let's make it be, we'll just say the lot number is what we want to barcode that. And maybe our lot numbers tend to be like five digits long. Um, Another common place, uh, actually maybe even a better example would be like in the line items you can use the other one and two fields. Let's do that. That's more commonly used. These are the configurable other fields uh, that you can do under the uh, customized data layout uh, sections of the sales order design screen. So uh, getting into a few background things with that. but. Uh, these are the different barcode symbology types we use. I recommend code 128 if you're doing a one-dimensional barcode. Um, the barcode height, Let's for now, let's make that a half an inch. We'll make the barcode width. we got a four-inch label, so let's just make this for now 1.5 inches. Um, again, the um, X position will be a quarter of an inch out, so it's in alignment with these other fields. And let's just put this down at the bottom just to be safe. Uh, and then we get the font size for the human readable. So there we've added that barcode. So um, again, here you, what we're doing is we're adding the three different field types. They appear in the table on the left. Uh, you can edit these and tweak them. There's no limit to the amount of fields you can have. So if you have other types of images you want to add, you can certainly do that. Um, now, um, let's say in QuickBooks you want to make use of uh, your item custom fields. Let me just give you a quick review of what that is. Uh, inside your items list, okay, move this over just a tad for your view. Inside your items, when you create an item in QuickBooks, you can create custom fields. And here we've already added quite a few, but um, you can make these added pieces of information that are related to the item, and you can define them in this screen. Um, and that's a standard QuickBooks feature, but let's say there's things about your items that, you know, are things like color or style or material. You can make a custom item field and we can pull that into the label. Now the reason I'm getting into all that is that's, uh, we get a lot of questions about how to get custom item fields to pull in. Um, for those to be available in this drop-down uh, of selections right here, um, they'll appear at the bottom here, okay? But th they they won't appear until you first go ahead and, and press the sync fields button. What this will do is goes out to the items list and it looks at the custom item fields that you have because your QuickBooks is unique, com unique compared to any other uh, user. So we need to know what your custom item fields are so that when you then go to create a text field, your custom item fields that you created by name will appear here at the bottom. Okay, so that's how you get a custom item field to pull into the label. 
Um, some other things that I think are very useful in the designer is the test print. You can go ahead and like print this to your uh, zebra printer or whatever type of printer you've got um, to just make sure you have the positioning of your fields accurate and that the, the print looks you know the way you want it to look. Um, and another another tip I'll say on that is get into your uh, page size sizing um, for your label and and set up page size and it's different for every printer driver um, so that you know the page size in the driver is in agreement with you know what you have uh, for your actual stock you know so I could change this to be 4x4 or whatever I want to do it's not going to change our design screen but in the driver you need to make sure that your page size is set properly um, with your label design as you're making that so that uh, you get proper alignment when it's printing. Uh, sometimes we'll see like shrunken text or text flipping 90 degrees that can sometimes be caused by a page size discrepancy that's just way off. So you got to get your into your driver and make sure you know if you want to print four by three labels that in your driver under preferences uh, it shows that you're using a four by three page. Uh, so just a few tips here on using the designer you know the the new and open save as things like that are also um, very useful functions that we'll get into in later videos but this should get you off the ground using uh, the AccuWare Label Connector Label Designer. Thank you.